Hello, this is Heather Hoffman. I'm here today to share a really light and ethereal card. Is that e That's a hard word to say. This is using the February 2020 Kit of the Month, and I really loved that beautiful, intricate lace image. I also love heat embossing on vellum, so I decided to kind of combine those two things because I thought the, the really dainty, soft effect would work really well together. All right, I went ahead and used my um, embossing, my powder tool on that vellum to keep any of my stray embossing powder from sticking anywhere that I don't want. I've got that one piece of vellum and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp both sides of that. And since I want three of these, I also have another little piece that I stamped on as well. And then I'm sprinkling my white embossing powder on there. I kind of stuck my thumb where I didn't want to there and smudged that little bit, but I don't think it'll show in the, the finished end. So I went ahead and just left it. And as it was, it worked out just fine. If I was going to be a perfectionist, I probably would have restamped and redone that one, but I think I was able to make it work okay without having to do that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and heat set all three of these. So skipping ahead a little now that that's all done, then I'm going to carefully fussy cut these out with my scissors. You can see I'm just kind of carefully turning the paper and cutting along that edge. Nothing too perfect. Um, it's not going to show on the finish too much, but I kind of wanted that all um, with a little bit of a detailed edge. Skipping ahead again, now I finished die cutting all three of those. And I'm gonna line them up, just kind of overlapping at alternating spots. And once I was happy with the way they were laid out there on my soft blue cardstock panel, I went ahead and used just some purple tape, washi tape or post-it tape would work as well, just to hold them all in place so I could trim the excess off and then use a tiny bit of liquid glue to adhere um, each of those on. Because of the detail on the embossing, you aren't going to be able to see that little bit of glue through there. And because they're layered up, you wouldn't anyway, and I'm going to have some twine tied around at the end. But um, the detail on the embossing is going to hide any of that glue, which is quite handy. All right, at this point I decided to trim it down a little bit so it would be smaller than my white card panel and leave a little border on the edges. This is also a great way to kind of smooth off those edges and make sure that they're all even. All right, so I went ahead and set a clear block just to hold that all down while that glue dried a little bit. And then I pulled a sentiment stamp out of the same kit of the month, the same February 2020. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on a little bit of white cardstock. It's a good thing I wasn't stamping it right on the card because you might notice there I had put it on upside down, which has worked out fine. I stamped it in black Versa Fine um, ink, which is a pigment ink. So to add to that glossy shine, I went ahead and heat embossed that with clear embossing powder. And then I'm gonna cut a, a circle out with just some basic circle dies. Anything you have in your stash would work. You could also draw um, a line on. All right, now I'm gonna pull out that beautiful new heart confetti stencil that uh, Unity just released their first stencils this past week. So I'm gonna use that to add a little texture to the top. I used some post-it tape to mask off the bottom so it wouldn't go over my um, doily pieces and also to hold the stencil in place. And then I could kind of peel it up and make sure um, when I was happy with it. I'm gonna add a couple of twists of black jute string tied in a simple little bow on the side there starting by just tying it in a knot and then I will adhere that sentiment circle and then once I have that in place I that'll help me with uh, making sure I tie the bow in the right place because it's still easy to slide around at this point if I need to kind of carefully move that over tie my bow cut my extra strings off and then I can add a tiny dot of glue there I like to do that under my bows just to hold them stable and sturdy and then a little bit of foam tape to adhere that onto my card base and this card is finished. Lots of lacy layers. And I just, again, the white heat embossing on vellum worked so well with that beautiful lace image and added such a faux lace texture made with stamps of all things and a super soft and simple color scheme as well. Thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.